Antonio Ramos, uh, everyone knows me as Tonio Skits, and uh, tonight I am hosting Entre Nos uh, for HBO Latino. We got the hottest stars right now in LA, and I'm excited, I'm honored to be bringing these people out. Entre Nos is an establishment that has brought the Latino comedians to a space that no other uh, establishment really is doing right now, and we have people that are not Latino. It's, it's diverse, but it's Latino based. Thank you guys, thank you for coming out. Hey, without you, we're just crazy people shouting in the dark, but yeah. To be able to be that dude that says something and for some reason, the person listening to you, their brain glitches and they just start laughing. That's one of those things that you can try to explain it, but you can't explain it. And I, I remember growing up in my neighborhood back home and an African-American black girl said to me, you think you cute because you light skin and got good hair? And I was like, I'm light skin and I got good hair? I'm rolling with these bitches. <laughs> It is so much fun to be able to be in front of a crowd with the cameras and doing this huge show um, because if you're a comedian, um, you know that anytime that you do a theater, it is probably going to be the most fun you can have on stage. And I feel like as a lady, we hear this a lot. You're like, girls can have sex whenever they want, which is not true, you know? Like, just because I'm hungry doesn't mean I'm going to eat out of a dumpster. Uh -huh. But I have. <laughs> It's an experience of a lifetime, man. I, I can't say that enough. I'm just a little guy from East LA, man. Grew up very humble, very poor. HBO is where you want to go as a comedian, and I, I, that's the platform you shoot for, and, and we're here. I, I can't thank them enough. Hunter Park is so Mexican, Donald Trump is going to build a wall around it, fool. I swear. <laughs> he's going to make Downey pay for it. I swear he's going to happen. I mean, it's an honor to be on HBO. I mean, I think uh, I remember watching HBO in Venezuela even. So I'm really excited just to, you know, go out there and kill it. That blew his mind. He's like, what? <laughs> no, you're a speck. I'm like, not speck. <laughs> I mean, I've been married for 20 years, y'all. 20 damn years, yep. <laughs> but I feel like I'm in jail for a crime I didn't commit, though. Uh... <laughs> Uh, for me, it's a quiet calm. Once I get out there and do my thing, you get the first joke. That's what you want to do. You want to get the first joke. Once you get the first joke, everything else is you're stepping in your zone and you're gone. Once that rush hits, you're done. You did that and you give it your all. It's a great feeling. Half the fun was doing the promo. That in itself was just fun, creating these skits and, and, and working with the comedians. Uh, I kind of brought them into my world, the social media world. It was great shooting these promos. I showed up, everybody was on point. I actually showed up on time, they enjoyed that. They had water and cookies for me, so that's always awesome, and a sandwich. We also shot YouTube videos. We even shot a skit with the famous Antonio skits. Also with Eric Blake and Ada Rodriguez, which how awesome is that? That's a great crew to be around there, man. I'm blessed with this moment. I'm humbled by this moment. Am I crying again? No, no I'm not. No I'm not. Stop looking at me like that. I'm gonna cry. Stop it. Go ahead. Next question. It's a lot of fun working with a lot of comedians on these promos. You don't really get to work with comedians and collaborate in that way a lot. I do a lot of videos and improv videos, but I've not worked with Francisco and Jerry in that capacity, and so it was really fun to try that with them. We usually do shows together, stand-up shows together, and that's what we just do. But it's fun to do just different stuff, you know, like, you know, acting, you know, and like, just hang out. So it was really cool to be in different uh, elements with other comics and kind of finding out stuff that I didn't know about them as well. I've known both comics for a long time, Francisco and Christine. I remember us three not being able to get stage time at times and just getting bumped or being on the bottom of that list. And, and now we're here, man. This, we're talking about eight years ago, man. Eight years of a lot of, a uh, lot of grinding. 